Hi guys, and welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, I'm going to be showing you what we got for Christmas. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder, and I can steal my identity by putting the sunglasses on and the phone in front of my face. Because I'm still feeling a little too woo vulnerable to admit to the world who I am. And here's all my messes and mental struggles. <laughs> but no, this is a happy episode. We had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas with family and friends. We still have to visit a couple more people and exchange with a few more friends and family members. But we had a happy healthy Christmas and I'm praying that everyone out there had a very Merry Christmas. I hope that everyone's having a wonderful Hanukkah and all the holidays that you guys celebrate. I just hope that you're having a wonderful time with friends and family and enjoying yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. It's Christmas Eve in the middle of the night and Santa came. I'm so excited that he stopped by our house and the boys are going to be so excited in the morning. I can't wait. I'm just excited. I feel like I'm a little girl waiting for them to get up in a couple of hours and run to the tree and open up the presents. And the tree looks so pretty. And we have our elves, Nacho and Poncho, and they're in their magical cloud. They always come every Christmas Eve morning in their magical cloud, and they stay with us for Christmas Day so that they can watch the boys open up their presents on Christmas morning. And again, this, this brings me so much happiness, just waiting for the anticipation of my boys to get up in the morning and run to the Christmas tree with pure excitement and joy. All right, guys, here's what the kids got for Christmas. And this includes their nanny and nono coming over and their uncle coming over and Santa and mommy and daddy. This is really, really good for us. Look, we got FGTV toys. My youngest, he wanted Switch games. So, oh, he got some Switch games. He loves Funnel Vision, so shout out to Funnel Vision. <laughs> so he got some of the FGTV toys, and he got dry erase markers, and they love Pokemon cards. Now my son did open up a lot of him. This is the, the little one, the seven-year-old. Here's some more Pokemon cards. Some of them are open in the back. He does have a couple of gift cards. And oh, Santa only brought their favoritest candy and not a whole lot because, you know, that's good. We don't need that much candy. Uh, let me see a Pokemon. Oh, he loves this. This is a, a big one that he loved, his wireless Pokemon Switch remote. Oh, he loves that. And then the guinea pigs, they got a little toy too. They got this toy and then there's another one over here with a little burger chew toy. And then my dad brought for the guinea pigs little snacks for them to eat. And, um, oh, and they got Funko Pops too. I don't know, my youngest, his was over here, but here moving over to the oldest, he had gotten some Funko Pops too. Little puppy, this is from the Fortnite Loot Llama. We can tossy tossy that out. Uh, let me see. Little books. Here's some of the Pokemon cards that they had gotten. Um, Naruto little toys were in their stocking, which they love. He's going to put that on display. Uh, again, oh, a little squishy. He really wanted his games for his PlayStation, so he did get his games. And he asked for a couple of Pokemon. So those were the two boxes that he really, really, really wanted. And he got this big uh, game. It was a collector's edition for PlayStation. That was a big gift. And same with an iPhone so that we can call him because he started in middle school this year. So he needs a phone now so that we can call and text him because he's a lot more independent right now. 
And over here is the loot llama that my youngest was really excited to get from Santa. But when we opened it up, it had a hundred pieces inside of it. But that's okay. We're cleaning out the playroom. It's going to be done in January. But for now, we're going to build the clock tower for him. We're going to put the pieces together so he can play with it this afternoon. And over here, Santa came. He ate his cookies. He only left a little piece. He drank his milk. I'm really excited. The kids love seeing that he did that. Over here is my youngest, his little um, wireless controller that he loves. Uh, and over here is a nose pencil sharpener that looks like it's picking its nose when you sharpen it. All right, moving towards the back of the tree. Um, these boxes right here, they're from their Nani and Nana. They each got about three tops each. So like Under Armour, nice quality, you know, sweatshirts and tops for them to wear. And then, oh, that was in my husband's stocking. He likes a Christmas story, so I put that in his stocking. And then you can sort of see down here a little bit. That Funko Pop was from my boys to their dad. And this little helicopter right here, that also was, it's Vanos. So that was from um, my youngest, uh, Tyler, to his daddy. And then here's my gifts right here. So I'm going to pull them out so I can show you. Okay, so here were my gifts that I got. And my oldest son, he picked out this uh, these scrunchies, which I absolutely love. <laughs> and the unicorn blanket. And then I got a new unicorn little agenda book to write, you know, all my um, dates and stuff in. Um, my youngest picked out these slippers for me. And then this right here, which I absolutely love. And then, of course, in my stocking, I got my favorite, which is my peppermint bark. I get one every Christmas because I love them. And then a the little card that had a little cash from Hubby. But he also got me one of these. I have to set it. <laughs> Obviously, the time and everything is very wrong. But I really just wanted to track my steps without anything being too, too fancy. But I do. I, uh, I like this a lot. And All right, guys, so now it's time for the best gift that I received this year. It is such a blessing. It is from my mom and dad. I'm so extremely excited to say that they gifted us hardwood floors in January. <laughs> so finally, finally, after years upon years of loathing this carpet, in January, we're going to be getting hardwood floors in here, and I'm so excited, I'm so ecstatic, I'm so grateful, um, I'm so thankful to my parents for gifting us that. Um, it was such a wonderful Christmas blessing that my parents were able to gift that to us because, oh, I just can't wait, I can't wait to have a beautiful hardwood floor in this kitchen. The carpet is just, oh, it's horrible. And it's like, oh, what a wonderful, wonderful Christmas pe uh, present coming from my parents. I'm just so appreciative and so grateful to God and so grateful to just everything. It was such a wonderful, beautiful Christmas miracle present. So you guys might be wondering, how much did I spend this Christmas? Well, in previous years, I used to spend about $3,000 for Christmas. Now, I want you to know that that's not just gifts. Gifts is a huge chunk of it. But it also includes all the Christmas dinners that quickly add up to be like $60 a person. The Christmas experiences where tickets are normally $20 a person. It's everything down to the Christmas stamps that I buy to send out the Christmas cards. Now, in a couple episodes ago, I had shown my original budget and my original number November 4th when I was adding everything up and I cut some things out was $2,185. Yeah, that was a lot. Now, my actual number on uh, December 26th is $1,157.18. So when I say I saved $1,027.82, basically it means it didn't go on a charge card because I did have $1,100 saved up in my holiday account. 
So I was good. So at least everything that went out did go out that way. But I pretty much saved $1,000 by not putting it on my charge card and by not having to pay it back over months with higher interest. Now this number does include, we went to the Polar Express and that was a wonderful experience. And we had lunch at the Polar Express because we had to eat. And I added that number in this as well. Now there was two things that I ended up missing um, uh, little social events because I was sick or someone uh, or because my little one was sick. So I actually probably that would have been like probably another hundred dollars right there. But again, this includes everything. This does not include um, this isn't so only on gifts, but I must admit that regifting I did a regifting video on um, Black Friday that saved me a lot of money in the gift department and I want to make sure that moving forward with Christmases that I'm going to be mindful, I'm going to be conscious, it'll be um, with cash and that we will always be frugal as best as we can and celebrate the family experiences together. So guys, I'm going to wrap up this video and I just want to say, man, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.